In this video, I'll show you how to create a gradient field for the function fxy equals 3xy divided by e to the x squared minus y squared power. So first of all, let's uh, let's set up this function. Let's define um, f of xy. You have to do x underscore, y underscore, and then colon equal, oops, and then the function. So 3 times x times y divided by e, I, I prefer the, the command exp for e to some power, and then uh, open square bracket, x squared minus y squared, closing square bracket, and shift enter. Okay, um, now just to be sure that I defined the function correctly, I like to just test it out here, like let's, let's let x be 1 and y be 1, and I get 3, yeah, because 3 times 1 times 1 is 3, divided by e to the 0 power, so, all right, looks like I entered it correctly. Okay, uh, also, let's go ahead and, and plot this just to get a, a sense of what this looks like. The plot3d command, um, although that's not going to help me with the gradient field, but it's nice to have a sense of, of what it looks like. So let's just do negative, let's do plot this from negative 3 to positive 3. Um, of course, I can adjust that later if it doesn't look like I'm capturing the, the major components of of this particular function um okay so that it, that's fine it, it looks like we have um a flat area in the middle and then it rises very quickly um in this direction up very quickly and then it also it rises it, it decreases very quickly there and over there okay it, it looks fine so let, let's also let's do a contour plot of this contour plot of the same thing i'll just copy and paste because uh, the commands are the same contour plot and plot 3d um it's it, it's all the same so let's just copy and paste so i don't have to recopy it all here okay shift enter okay and we can see just like the plot 3d had we have a roughly flat area in the middle and then rising very quickly here we have 20 40 60 yeah it's rising very quickly in this region and then it's falling very quickly negative 20 negative 40 negative 60 in that direction and then same for uh the the um the negative values of y on down here okay so now let's do the gradient field so first let's find the gradient so that's the grad command of the function oop i gotta tell it um for x and y got to define the variables there so find the gradient of the function fxy for the variables first for x and then for y closing square bracket okay so the grad command i just took the partial derivative with respect to x right here and then the partial derivative with respect to y right there okay so now um what the gradient tells you is if you plug in a value for x and y um, into this, it gives you a vector which which points in the the direction of the steepest ascent. Um, so now for the um, the vector field, you can use the vector plot command. Um, vector plot it gives you a vector. Excuse me, it it gives you a graph of of the vector. In other words. Um, for every single x, y coordinate, it get, draws a little arrow pointing in the, the direction that it's supposed to be pointing in. Okay, so um, let's just copy and paste it all here. Vector plot the whole thing. Okay. And then um, just like with the plot 3D and contour plot commands, you have to define your your range for the x's and for the y so let, let's just copy and paste that as well so x will go from negative 3 to positive 3 and y will go from negative 3 to positive 3 as well okay and then closing square bracket and here it is so this is the the vector plot like i said before you give me an, an x y coordinate like like the point one one, which is right about there, and then um, you, the, what the computer does is it plugs in the coordinates into this vector, and it gives you the direction of of the arrow. Now remember, 
uh, gradient p always points uphill. And it, it points in the, the direction of st steepest ascent. And so what this gradient vector field tells you is, um, uh, imagine you're a hiker and you, you want to always hike uphill. And so let's say starting down here, um, X is about one, Y is negative two, and you're gonna hike uphill. So you're gonna hike, just follow the arrows. So uphill will take you over this direction. Now, if you're like, if you start here, if you hike uphill, you go this way, and then you follow the arrows and you and, and you follow up that way. Now, also in Mathematica, um, there's a color coding. Uh, darker colors mean um, uh, less steep, and the the brighter colors, orange, yellow, is more steep. And and we saw that on the um, on the contour plot, it's it's really steep uh, uh, along the edges. Uh, you know, when, when x and y or when y is around two and negative two, we have very steep um, slopes, and you can see that the bright the brighter the color, the steeper the slope, right here as well. Um, now you can also overlay the gradient field on top of the contour plot by using the show command. So let's go back to our contour plot and call this A. A equals the contour plot, and then B equals the, uh, the vector plot. All right, and then um, put them together. So we have show A comma B, and then we have the, the gradient field or the gradient vector field on top of the contour plot. So this really helps to give you a really good sense of, of, of what's going on with this function. So you can see it's, uh, it's rising quickly uphill right here, um, and then continuing to rise, um, and then it, it, it curves a little bit, and then it's, um, it's rising uphill going this direction. And then it's reverse for negative values of x. You can see it's, it's um, uh, from the top, it's, it's rising, and then it curves around a little bit, and then it's rising, and then it rises very steeply down here at the bottom. Um, and uh, and that's all. Oh, 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 actually, there's one more thing. And, and also notice that one property of gradients is they're always perpendicular to the, to the contour line. And you can see this arrow's perpendicular, this arrow's perpendicular, um, these arrows are perpendicular to those contour lines as well. And, uh, and now I'm done. Thanks for watching.